Best local days I've ever had. <laughs> Woo! Today was by far the best day I've ever had on the local reef. But things didn't start out so optimistic. Ready for the hunt? Yeah. Not so optimistic about the visibility, but we'll see how we go. That's why we bought the fishing rod. <laughs> but hopefully we have visibility. And some big Spanish. It's gonna be alright. Let's hope. We spent ages looking for some clean enough water to dive in. We even had a good go at doing a bit of line fishing. But yeah, we're not real good at that. So we kept looking and yeah, we ended up finding some clean water. Found it. Yep. <laughs> We've got lots of fish too. I'm not showing you my secret spots though. <laughs> so we threw the anchor in, jumped in the water, and now I'm heading down for my first dive of the day. I was pretty excited to get down there, but I could never have imagined just how good it was going to be. Just gotten to the bottom. I've seen a really big trout. There are mangrove jacks everywhere. This spot is going off. The mangrove jacks and surgeon fish were so thick it was making it really hard to get a shot on that trout. Now, I didn't shoot one of those mangrove jacks in the hope that I wouldn't spook that trout so he'd be there the next dive. Really big trout. Big trout. Now, what I would have shown you here is Jose shooting a nice fish, but this is what I got instead. Oh, you didn't film it? What are you doing? <laughs> good on you, Jose. Good fish, mate. Alright, I'm heading back down for my next dive. I haven't got that high of hopes that that coral trout's still around after Jose pulled the trigger. But let's see how we go. Now instead of chasing the fish like I did last time, I want to sit on this little rock, try and obscure most of my body, and occasionally give the rock I'm sitting on a little scratch just to pique the trout's curiosity. Now why I'm yahooing and carrying on, these things are delicious. I was 
was pretty stoked with this one, but only a few dives later, about to shoot one quite a bit bigger. Got him! <laughs> Good bro. There was absolutely tons of bait fish hard up against the bottom on this spot. Now, I'm guessing that's why the jacks and the trout were quite abundant in this area. My theory is, if you don't shoot the first good fish you see, you just hang around with the school, something really nice might swim in. But unfortunately in this case, a shark swam in and spooked everything in the school and I ended up with nothing. But this happens. Still heaps of jacks in that. You saw a big one? Yeah, that's what that one is. Yeah, it's a leopard trout. Yeah, a strawberry or a leopard. There's a little shark down there on the bottom. So just like try to get your fish in quick. The jacks are still there. I spoke when the shark come in, but yeah. On my way back down, I spot two trout in the two to three kilo range, but uh, I'm not really interested in shooting one of them. But as I look over, I spot quite a nice sized jack. So I decide I'm gonna try and take this fish. So after I threw my jack back in the boat, Jose went down and uh, did himself a bit of a mischief. <coughs> so Jose shot this pretty good sized trout, but unfortunately the uh, spear pulled out. It's happened to all of us. Unfortunate, Jose. You okay? Those are trout. Which one? Did it tangle? Ah, ah. Shit. Oh, no. I didn't want it to cave in. So I tried to pull it and just drink off. Oh, no. Shit. <laughs> what happened? Your rubber fell out. What? Your rubber's out. Yeah. Yeah, Jose, you want to spot me for one more dive and then we'll jump in the boat and fix it. Alright, so I had a bit of a brain glitch on this fish. This is a blue spot trout. Now these things have to be between 50 centimetres and 80 centimetres to be a legal fish to take home. At first I thought uh, is this undersize? And then I got a better look and oh, maybe it's oversized. It's a pretty big fish But anyway, I just Absolutely cooked it and it got away Just swimming off into the distance Yeah, after re-watching the footage many a times I estimate the fish to be about that six kilo mark and probably only about 70 centimeters So it would have been perfectly legal to take home Mm-hmm. 
There was plenty of other leopard trout getting around. I wasn't shooting them because I was really hoping Jose could get back down there and have another chance at shooting one. After this dive, we had about a 15 minute break. We fixed Jose's gun up so he's ready to get back in the water and have another crack at those trout. So after our short break, we got back in the water. Jose had the first drop, but unfortunately his ears were blocking up and he was unable to get to the bottom. So I took the next dive and I spotted this pretty decent sized mangrove jack off in the distance. He started to swim off into the Sergio school, but I followed closely behind and just hoped that he'd turn around and give me a shot. It wasn't the best shot of the day, but I managed to put a decent holding shot in the fish and yeah, another good fish in the box. On the next dive, I spot this beautiful blue bar parrotfish. These guys are quite delicious to eat, so I lined him up and took a pretty good shot, I reckon. As I was dispatching the fish with my knife, the knife slipped off the head of the parrotfish and uh, went straight in my hand. Rookie error. Having a pretty good day today. Apart from that, and Jose's ears are blocking up a little bit, but. Yeah. Good bit of fishy. Look at that. Two big mangoes. Monster trout. Oh, big trout. Couple of jacks. Nice parrot. Little schooly. Yeah, having a great little local day. It's a bit windy, but yeah, found some nice clean water and come on to some good fish. Big trout. So I thought that trout was pretty big, but I was about to be blown away. That trout went 7.4 kilos and 81 centimetres. That was a new PB for me and I was more than stoked. So I'm more than happy with the amount of fish I have. I've got some beautiful table fish, two big trout, two nice jacks and a parrot fish. I'm just diving for the fun of it now and exploring this beautiful spot. That's when I come across this school of jacks and trout all mingled in together. Very cool to see. What else is in, what else is in the Esky? Oh, I think we've got the 
Two big trout. Two big trout and the two big jacks. What's that? Beautiful gats, mate. Beautiful mangrove jack. That was the first fish of the day. Yeah. Yeah, what a spot, eh? Pretty good. Yeah. Beautiful spot. Plenty of fish. Yeah. No sharks. <laughs> no sharks was good. That's a good change. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome day. Good day. And what else did you spear? Hey? What else did you spear? Oh, a little parrotfish. Oh, your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I might have stabbed myself in the hand. <laughs> That's another episode, guys. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying the content, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more like it, subscribe as well. Cheers, guys. Have a good one.